five days after Victoria councillors voted themselves a 25% pay increase, it's anything but old news. Letters to the editor indicate the public are not finished making themselves heard. Those in favour? Councillor Thompson, Councillor Caradona, I believe Councillor Kim. Mayor Marianne Alto and Councillors Hammond and Gardner voted against the hike. Councillor Coleman wasn't present. The vote follows a report showing mayor and council salaries were below average compared to 18 other Canadian cities. We were given a, a staff report and then we, we confirmed that council is a full-time and not a part-time job. I can understand all of their thinking behind it, but that doesn't justify um, making that decision on their own behalf. Pam Madoff served eight terms as a Victoria councillor before stepping down in 2018. She says the current council voting itself a pay raise sets a bad precedent. I remember at least once on council where we were put in the position <clears throat> to potentially vote for our own pay raise. And heaven knows I could have used it you know, because it was a, certainly a full-time uh, job for me, I just couldn't have lived with myself if I did it. It just doesn't pass the test of, of public scrutiny or your own integrity. Victoria is not the only council to vote itself a healthy pay hike during its current term. After a vote last April, Colwood councillors pay increased 57% to $27,900, and the mayor's pay went up to $55,785. This political analyst says councils are in a tough spot. They're damned if they don't and certainly damned when they do. Very few of us can vote ourselves a pay raise and say I accept and, and proceed with a 25% a increase. But from the political, the politician's point of view, it's also a problem because there are real questions of the, the work done, the hours invested, the skill levels involved. Uh, and fair compensation. Victoria councillors will see their pay raise on their May 1st paychecks.